Today we'll look at a very particular robot that spends most of its time in space. Robots are used widely in space exploration. Most of you know those such as the Mars rovers, but there is one that has been in service for over 15 years now. And it is even closer than you think. This robot here is Dexter, also known as the Special Purpose Dexterous Manipulator. Built by MDA Limited, a Canadian space tech company, it was launched on the Space Shuttle Endeavour in March 2008 on the mission STS-123. Once in space, it was latched onto the International Space Station at one of its grapple fixtures. Costing more than $200 million, this robot closely resembles science fiction space robots, but it is fair to say that this real-life machine is an even more remarkable feat of engineering. Dexter consists of two dexterous 3.5 meters arms which are attached to a torso-like base. Each arm comprises seven joints, namely the elbow, shoulder, and wrists joints similar to a human arm. What's amazing is that this whole setup weighs about 1.7 tons and pivots about itself, so you can have an idea already of how flexible of a machine it is. What's even more fascinating is that on top of that, it is fully mobile. The powerful Canada Arm 2 can grasp Dexter and position it around the ISS worksites, also known as the orbital replacement units. Being the most sophisticated space robot ever made, Dexter has the ability to perform routine tasks, which would otherwise require astronauts to go on spacewalks that demand long preparation times and have a certain risk element associated with them. Each of its five links can not only move up, down, and sideways, but also rotate about its own axis. To ensure the proper motions, inside each link is a camera for visual feedback. The hands at the end are packed with force-sensitive sensors, allowing them to have a sense of touch equivalent to that of humans, and that can even compensate for payloads. Having a precision of a few millimeters, Dexter can work on both ends of the spectrum, as it is also strong enough to manipulate equipments the size of an adult human. Further tools at the end effector include a motorized wrench and a retractable connector to supply power and data. One very interesting fact is that the robotic manipulator assists astronauts even while they are sleeping. This is because it is operated entirely from ground control teams at NASA and the Canadian Space Agency headquarters located in Quebec. Let's now take a look at the main tasks of Dexter. These include maintenance work for the ISS and also acquiring payloads from transport modules such as the SpaceX Dragon capsule, which so far has done 34 visits to the space station. Dexter's first official assignment, which took place in February 2011, was in fact to unpack the Japanese HTV cargo module, and get this, it was done entirely while the crew aboard was sleeping. Its most critical attempt was the robotic refueling mission, or RRM, something that was designed never to be performed in space. Dexter successfully managed to open the safety caps and handle thin retaining wires, after which it transferred ethanol liquid into a mock satellite. With this pioneering technology, there is the ability to save hundreds, if not thousands of satellites that would otherwise be decommissioned and become space debris. With the end time of the ISS slowly creeping up on itself, Dexter is being used to actively test the potential of robotics in space. In 2024, a new addition to Dexter is planned, the Dexter Operated Camera, or DOC. It is an improved vision tool which will be used to inspect the ISS and monitor for signs of damage, as well as ensure the safety of vehicles that are docking and undocking with the orbiting station. This will also ensure the safety of astronauts as the ISS is continuously hit by micrometeoroids for which spacewalks are the only means of assessment and repair. Same as other missions conducted in space, Dexter has been the inspiration for its counterparts down here on the Earth's surface. One such robot is the NeuroArm, which was developed with the same operating principles, in particular the dexterity and ability to operate in critical and extreme environments. In this case, the NeuroArm is used to perform brain surgery inside an MRI machine. And with this, we can all see why Dexter deserves the title as the most sophisticated robot in space. I hope this educational video has broadened your knowledge of the Dexter robot aboard the ISS. Be sure to comment any other interesting facts that I have missed in this video. For more such space and robotics videos, don't forget to subscribe and if you feel you learned something new, please give a like.